Hello guys, so it is a week till Thanksgiving and it is cold as balls here in DC. Um, I am going to quote Game of Thrones and say winter is coming and it's going to be a bitch. Um, so, uh, this is a quick little update on the toroid flower video that I uploaded uh, a couple weeks ago and have been getting some great responses on. Um, namely, so, does anybody remember near the end of that video where I was demonstrating the ability to uh, switch between timing and direction in it? Well, today, as I was playing around with this, it struck me that uh, there is an element to this that I didn't talk at all about in that video, and that suddenly jumped out at me as being rather significant, which is... So you'll note I'm switching here between same time, same direction, and same time opposites, right? Now, the motion I'm using for both is what would be in isolation if we were playing around with doubles or with clubs, right? That is, we're using that metaphor of because the viewer is always seeing the plane of the poi head on, that we're thinking about rigid props as being analogous to that, uh, uh, to that plane, right? Now, normally when we pick either anti-spin or extension as we're moving around uh, a 2D flower, if we want to switch the direction of the hand path, we have the option either of doing a stall or we switch around into a different type of motion, that is between extension or anti-spin. But basically, there is absolutely no way that I can take an extension and, without stalling it, switch back the other direction, or likewise, with anti-spin, go anti-spin back around the other side of the circle without a stall, right? If I don't want to make the transition, I have to switch between anti-spin and extension. This is the basic idea behind caps, right? And it's also true that we have this option available to us Torrid flowers as well. But here's the funky thing I realized as I was playing around with this. I can keep the motion isolation all the way around, which means there is absolutely no necessity that I switch between anti-spin and extension as I'm performing a change in direction with my hands. This means that that lovely uh, uh, property of stabs wherein I can be isolating my staff or my club and say stop and isolate it back the other way because the, uh, the club or the staff doesn't have to do with gravity. This is a trait that's inherited by the planes that we use for toroid flowers. This is essentially a way that we can cheat that requirement with toy. So for example, I could be going same time, same direction and just straight up switch which direction I wanted to go in. Or if I switch into same time opposites, I have the option of just going straight back and forth across the same part of my hand path without having to switch between anti-spin and in-spin. Cool. It's kind of like God mode in a way. Yeah. So, I thought that was an interesting insight, and I thought you guys might appreciate that too. It opens up a lot of options for spinning too, because it means that when you go between uh, anti-spin and uh, isolation for toroid flowers, that you get to make that choice whenever you want. They're interchangeable. Um, and they're also completely unnecessary if you don't want to. So, um, it opens up the field a little bit. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys are having a good week. Peace.